And our seven weeks of summer continues in Greenville, the Sky 7 right here of the Great Dark County Fair. Beautiful day to be out at the fair, and that's where we have the Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist, McCall Brydags, who has been spending her afternoon there. This is uh, what many call the granddaddy of, of county fairs, and uh, no better person to, to send that way than our, than our good friend McCall. You're, you're in a barn of some sorts, I see, huh? Yeah, actually, our executive producer, Emily, said uh, when you go to the fair, she was here just a few days ago, she said, I had to come see the cattle and steer. So that was the first place I went to. She said that the cow here are huge, so I had to see for myself. And no better way to learn about the cattle than steer than to talk to somebody that has a bunch of them. And so let's talk uh, to Miss Cress here. And why don't you tell us a little bit about your cattle that we have behind us? Um, the brown uh, cattle behind us are a dairy breed called Brown Swiss. And um, the black and white ones are called Holsteins, and both of them are dairy breeds. So these cow look very large. I'm going to have Adam go ahead and, and pan over to them. The one closest to the right is how old? She was born in December, right around Christmas. December, and she's already that big. And we're going to go down the line here. Uh, July last year, so she's about a year. The next one's about a year and a half, and then the largest one, she's three years old. Oh my gosh. And now the second to oldest, she's actually uh, pregnant, right? Right. Correct. So, so about when are we expecting the little baby? Uh, in about 280 some days is their gestation period. Oh my gosh. So exciting. All right. So then you have three more uh, cow that are down here. What kind of cows are these? They're Holsteins, and these three are steers. In other words, they're castrated males, and they're, they're a dairy breed, but they're raised for meat. And the one in the middle, which I think is a huge, um, how old is that? Uh, he's not quite a year, and he weighs, right now he currently weighs about 1,479 pounds. And how large can he get? Uh, he could get even larger. Um, and he did win uh, his class in junior fair for my son this year. So a couple of them are going to show in less than an hour, right? Correct. And what is their showing for? Um, tonight is our what we would call an open class. So they've already had their junior fair awards. Now this is open class, which is a second show. And it really, it's kind of open up to the public. Um, and junior fair members can also show again. So how long are you, are you guys going to be here through Saturday? Um, we came in on last Thursday, and we will leave on this coming Thursday. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to talk with me. Thank you. And I really did enjoy hanging out with you guys this afternoon. And thank you, and enjoy the fair. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about the forecast. The weather today, it's warm, but it's not too humid. Temperatures right now are sitting in the 80s. When we look at radar, you can see that we are looking at dry conditions across the Miami Valley. And we're going to stay dry as we continue, not only through the rest of the evening, but into tonight as well as the big picture view does show that regionally through the Midwest, live Doppler 7 is dry. That's because high pressure is in control. So what does that mean for you? That means tonight's a great night to come to the fair. Tomorrow's a great day to come to the fair. Friday right on through the weekend because I really don't see much in the way of precipitation in the near future. And Futurecast does show that for you. Temperatures through the evening are going to be dropping down through the 80s into the 70s. Late tomorrow, we're going to wake up tomorrow morning today say in the 60s and then as we move into tomorrow afternoon it's going to warm right back up to the mid 80s still the humidity isn't expected to be too high so when we look at the seven day forecast we are looking at comfortably warm temperatures until we get to the weekend that's when i see those highs getting nearly to 90 degrees and actually touching that 90 degree temperature come sunday and it will feel like the 90s with that humidity that returns now we may see a stray shower chance early on Friday and again in the afternoon, but really I see our best opportunity for rain to hold off until early next week. So again, if you want to come to the Great Dark County Fair through Saturday, forecast is looking fantastic. Now coming up at 530, I'm going to venture back into the middle of the fair. My photographer Adam and I were talking about maybe uh, checking out some of the games and to see how lucky it might be uh, this time around at this county fair. For now though, I'm Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydags live from the Dark County Fair. And McCall, I want to say you, you were pretty lucky. You and Adam, your photographer, you know, um, cows, they love grain, they love hay, it's, it's filled with a lot of fiber, and um, we saw some backsides of cows, but um, 
you know, everything everything stayed uh, everything stayed PG as far as any sort of Everything accident. Everything was TV appropriate, that's right. I, I can't say that that was the case uh, uh, about 30 minutes ago, but thankfully our, our little friends here, they were appropriate for television. Yeah, I, I saw a little bit of a tail lift and Austin's like, uh-oh, here we go, but but, um, but but it didn't happen. So, uh, hey, it's all about timing. All right. That would make great TV. Uh, well, it'd make something, that's for sure. People would be laughing at the house. All right, young lady, we'll check back with you in a little bit. Thank you.